turn these into these. I am the Great British Chocolatier and you're watching Chocolate Plus. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Chocolate Plus. My name is Mark, aka the Great British Chocolatier, and today I'm going to show you how to make some chocolate covered marshmallows. Start off with our fluffy, yuffy, fluffy, yuffy, our fluffy, yummy marshmallows, and of course, we have our chocolate wafers here that are compound chocolate, confectionery chocolate, where they're taking out the cocoa butter and added in a vegetable oil, but still great tasting chocolate. We're going to throw these in the microwave, we. I'm going to throw these in the microwave for 30 seconds. As you know, pop them in there for 30 seconds. We can usually do three rounds of 30 seconds um, until I'm stirring every time because you need to you need to make sure that you distribute that heat um, amongst all those wafers. Don't just take it out, shake it, and put it back in. You want to give it a good stir and for 30 seconds it doesn't matter what the wattage of your microwave is but you, you know most of them are between 700 to a thousand and i like this jug it's great because it's got the handle i can put my hand in there hold it and stir it around now as you see these are milk chocolate um, wafers and we just stir them around a lot of them are not melted uh, barely melting the core, but we're going to stir them around anyway and put them left back in again for another 30 seconds. Now, of course, if you don't have a microwave, you can do this on the stove. You need to create a double boiler, a broiler, where you have a pot with water in it, you bring it up to the boil, put a glass or metal bowl um, that fits on top of that um, pan, and then you can stir the chocolate and you turn the and um, once it brought to a boil you're going to turn it down to a simmer and then continually stirring the chocolate till it melts but with compound chocolate we don't have to worry about tempering now as you see there they're a lot more melted than before but still we're going to give it a good stir very chunky right now we we'll just keep stirring just distributing that heat now hopefully I've got the video settings correct this time um, but if not I'll, I'll fix it and sort it out in the editing and like I said don't worry you're gonna get chocolate on your fork or spoon whatever you use um, but it will come out in the second round the third round of putting it in the microwave so back to the goes <clears throat> and pop that in for another 30 seconds. Now after that, the chocolate should be completely melted and ready to go. Um, it, sometimes it may need a fourth go around. If that's the case, if it's not fully melted, you wanna put it in for 10 seconds at a time, take it out and stir it. Um, it really shouldn't take longer than that. But sometimes a batch can vary from batch to batch. So just play it by ear after the three seconds, after the three rounds of 30 seconds. <clears throat> you don't want to put it in for a fourth round for, for 30 seconds. Now you see how it's mostly melted. Now we're just gonna stir in. And of course, it's starting to smell like chocolate. And that's still a good chunk on the on the fork, but that's okay, that's good. We're just gonna keep stirring until all those little chunks are completely melted, and we're looking for a nice stream just like that. Beautiful. And um, there you go. I mean, there's extra, we can knock it off. But this too you can make from home, you can make with your children, just give them assistance in using the microwave. This chocolate is warm to the touch. If you want to um, coat the uh, said item, in this case marshmallows with your hand, you can do that. Um, you want to keep one hand clean and one hand that meets that melts all the chocolate. 
So, and there we go. Like I said, any chunks that are left on the fork or the spoon will eventually melt away. <clears throat> and this is just one 12 ounce bag of chocolate and it will cover quite a number of marshmallows. And today, the, the lucky recipients of these marshmallows is going to be the fire station down the end of the street, the fire brigade, if you're in England. Um, I had a chat with them the other day, thanking them for their work and their service to the community. And I said, I'm going to give you guys some chocolate. So they're going to have these very marshmallows that we make today. Okay, I like to create a kind of chain here. So I have my product, marshmallows, in the chocolate, in the pan. And it's simple as, throw it in. And I just stir it around as you see. I'm just letting the marshmallow go for a chocolate swim. Wouldn't we all like to do that? And then I just shake off the excess, like so. And then, very carefully, I flip it upside down like this. And then pat out the, the top. And I just repeat that process over and over again, like so. Oh, sometimes they fall off the fork, that's okay. They just take another dip in the chocolate. Again, we're going to shake off the excess. And wherever it lands, it lands. Of course, I wanted it here, but it fell over there. If I move it, it's going to cause a mess. And the chocolate will come off the marshmallow on the bottom. And that's okay. And then, and that's it. Like I said, you can pat the top, making sure that you completely cover the marshmallow completely in chocolate. <clears throat> and then, um, you can use a fork. You can use, um, you don't really need any special equipment at all for this. Like I said, you can even just use your hand and um, create yourself, as long as you scrape off the chocolate off your hand, back into the bowl, you're good to go. You know, of course, wash your hands, dry your hands, put on the gloves, melt the chocolate, and dip the marshmallows, as we're using this time, into the chocolate, and we're good. Okay, what well, I'm gonna, like I said, this is pretty much the same motion all the time. Making sure, and I'll show you actually when I've done a few, that I don't have hardly any puddle. And we don't mind puddles. The only place we don't mind having puddles is chocolate puddles. Because chocolate puddles just means more chocolate for the person that eats it. And everybody loves chocolate and most people love marshmallows. And if you've never had a chocolate covered marshmallow, I'm telling you, it just takes it to a supreme level. Chocolate covered marshmallows. You can do it in milk chocolate and the dark chocolate and also white chocolate. So whatever is your favorite, you can just melt that and use that. Often if I'm doing a big batch, I'm gonna do all three. I'm gonna do white, dark and milk. Obviously, I'll do them at separate times. But the process over and over again is the same. You throw it in the chocolate. Now, after you've done like 12 or 18, you're going to really start seeing the chocolate firm up. And that just means the chocolate's getting cold. And you're going to have a thicker layer on the, of chocolate on the marshmallow. Um, which again, it's good if that's what you want, that's good. Or you can pop it back into the microwave for another 30 seconds. Of course, make sure there's no marshmallow in the chocolate. Because I don't know if you've ever put a marshmallow in the microwave. They kind of puff up real quickly and um, I think they explode. So we won't be doing <laughs> we won't be doing that. Um, but that's it. You can do this out of your own home. Your children can have fun doing this. Um, throwing the, I almost said milkshake. 
throwing the marshmallow into the chocolate and then and don't worry you know I see there's some of the, that powder that they have on the marshmallows if that gets into the chocolate it's okay it's all good you can you can still eat it um, I don't usually mix chocolates with different items like if I'm using this chocolate for marshmallows it's only going to see marshmallows it's not going to see a pretzel or an Oreo or anything else but even if it does that's good too because like I said everything in here is edible and the um, reason why I use the plastic is because I don't like using um, you can't put metal in the microwave anyway I don't like using ceramic or glass because that gets hot in the microwave if they're not always microwave friendly even if they're microwave safe the glass can still get hot <clears throat> and I don't want to be touching hot, hot uh, glass or ceramic so I use the plastic bowl. All right, so after I've done a few, you can see a puddle forming. I'll let me bring it up closer. Now, I learned a new trick last week, magnifying the camera lens on the program. But I'll bring it up close to you. And you see there, some of them have puddles, and that's okay, some of them don't. Oh, <clears throat> just hit the camera. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on to all the marshmallows that are gone in this pack, and then um, I'm gonna pop them in the refrigerator. So I'll be back after I speed this up. be ready to go into the refrigerator and like I said you just want to knock off the excess and uh, you keep going until you run out of chocolate in the bowl this might be the last one so <clears throat> make sure it's totally covered and you see I like the on top I um, give it a little bit of a tap around on the fork. Let me do one more, see if I can squeeze one more out of it. To give it like a little texture on top. It's gonna have a flat bottom and a nice, um, a nice little design on the top. Yeah, this is, I mean, if I've got a spoon, it'd be easier, but I'm just going to work it with the fork and there we go that will be the last marshmallow now you can see you just tap it on top and you get that light ripple effect again we don't waste chocolate so you can melt this put it into a piping bag and save it for later or you could just eat it yourself and just or you could put some um, warm milk hot milk in here and you can make yourself a nice delicious hot chocolate drink so because we don't ever waste chocolate it's like i think one of the cardinal sins of wasting chocolate so we don't do that okay so as you see these are done and you'll also notice how the ones on the back that we did earlier have hardened up a bit and these are still wet but i'm going to throw them into the um, refrigerator They've been in there for about 8 to 10 minutes, and uh, I'll be right back. And we're back. And as you can see, they've got a very nice ripply effect all the way around the marshmallow and on the top there, giving it that unique character look that I like to have for the marshmallows. So the next thing I'm going to do now, because I'm going to give these as a thank you gift to the firefighters down the road I'm going to package them in the packets I always use and this is four by six I believe and they're self seal you can get them from Amazon and this is how I do it I just package the marshmallow in down the bottom 
I probably get them side by side first without touching them too, too much as best I can. Like I said, this is why you need gloves. And yet you switch out your gloves in between. And I put four. Four in one, two, three, four. And they sit on top of each other. Like if I can get it in there, like so. Now they don't want to cooperate. Must be the camera. Okay, now they're in. All right, so I just fix it up a bit. And I take off the self sealing. Now these can be real sticky. And then I fold them over like so. When I mean sticky, they, they just cling to everything and get on on the gloves. And so there they go. Nice in the package, but we don't stop there. Will I also make, are these um, oval shaped um, stickers here? They say chocolate plus chocolate marshmallows. Now I know what you're saying. This don't say chocolate, you're correct. It actually says chocolato. That's the way to pronounce it. But I call it chocolate plus and I write it with the X. Why? Because I like to be different, it looks fancy. And that's how the Aztecs and the Mayans said their chocolate. Jocolat or joco is meaning bitter and atol means waters. And they called chocolate back in the day, like thousands of years ago, bitter water. And they used to mix it, I think, with um, um, cayenne pepper and stuff. So it was like a mad hot, thick drink. Um, and only the kings and gods, as they call them, could, could eat this stuff. Now it's good for everybody and readily available for everyone. So anyway, <clears throat> long story short, so that's the package that, that I, I produced when I sent it to the Joe public. You've got the description of what it is. And then last but not least, we have the ingredients. And so it's all pre-written down to the count of four. So I just stick this on the back as such. And it's got the ingredients of the chocolate and the marshmallow. And there you go, that's the finished product that I produce when I make the these in the marketplaces. Today, like I said, they're going to the fire brigade um, station down the end of the street. So I'm gonna finish packing the them up and then I'm gonna cut one open for you to see it. So hold on tight. mean by them sticking to you that's the static but that's okay I should have prepared the knife I got a butter knife so here we go I want you to take a look on the inside. And there we go. You've got a nice coating of chocolate all the way around. And these are absolutely delicious. So, I have the nice fluffiness of the marshmallow, mixing it with the rich, milky chocolate that everybody will enjoy. Well, I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next week, take care.